marks on the skin. The greatest trick the devil ever played was convincing me that I was him. We like to feel the blood and fat dripping off our gums. She likes to talk directly down the barrel of her gun. Learning to perfect the ancient art of quiet rape. You've always been so warm and calculated. I owe you a thanks. Eyes wide shut. I promise not to fall awake. Lick the guillotine and tell you how the gasoline tastes. The grass is always greener on the other pesticides. All impressions crept through the mess and said it's infectious high. What's for me to know when you define her? You'll be the almighty praise adrenaline. Such an underwhelming thrill where there's a will that's awake. Burn me at the stake. Who the hell am I trying to fool? I'm a fool. I feel so fake. One last goodbye before I take my 45. Shoot a hole in the sky. Rip it open and climb inside. Empathy is the poor man's cocaine. And love is just a chemical by any other name. I like the way your pheromones make me sleepy. This far away I still smell you inside me. Empathy is the poor man's cocaine. And love is just a chemical by any other name. I like the way your pheromones make me sleepy. This far away I still smell you inside me. Time me down till my sweet nothing sour. I screwed up trying to squeeze 65 minutes from an hour. Outnumbered by such a large amount. No wonder why we lost the battle. The counterculture can't count. Welcome to my private hell. There's no one to fight now. Enjoy myself. I'd rather drown than ask for help. I wish I was someone else. Mr. Perfect, misconstrued. Lead the way, follow through. Proudly hate me, I do too. You're so much like me, I feel sorry for you. But I think you're pretty, pretty sure. You will profit, you will get hurt. I eat my words, they taste like dirt. I'm only ashamed because I know what it's worth. Find my comfort, inside blame. Shove my pride back down my face. My worst habits waking up at least once a day. Balance barefoot on a needle, heaven's just a jump away. Empathy is the poor man's cocaine. And love is just a chemical by any other name. I like the way your pheromones make me sleepy. This far away, I still smell you inside me. Empathy is the poor man's cocaine. And love is just a chemical by any other name. I like the way your pheromones make me sleepy. This far away, I still smell you inside me. What's up, everyone? We back. Two in one week. Uh, anyway, close enough of that. Compared to our previous track record, this is killing it. So, but yeah, we're back, man. Side of Bourbon. Maddie Madison, a cookbook. Episode Quattro. Is that for Quattro? Yep. Uno, dos, tres, Quattro. So yeah, we're doing uh, the mustard pickles. What's up? Uh, you're boring. Who is this I hate? Ba uh, ban him for, uh, for life, please. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Pirate D, go ahead, please. Uh, please uh, ban him. He's a definitely a uh, a troll bot. No, I'm doing pickles. This will be a pickle in about an hour or so. And then we're doing some uh, French onion soup, which is the best. It's the kind of soup that like, holds you tight and tells you everything's going to be A-OK. -okay. Delicious. Oniony, obviously. But also, we're going to debut our new slicer and make some carpaccio. Some beef carpaccio. With some uh, horseradish aioli. Some freaking fried capers. Right? Look at this giant jar of capers. We're frying all these. We're not, we're not really doing that. But we've got a lot of capers, so don't worry. 
We just need some heavy uh, caper giveaway tonight. Um, what else we doing? Is that it? Yeah. Carpaccio, a soup, uh, pickles. We're gonna can some stuff. That's kind of cool, right? Like actually, like can I jar some pickles. That's cool. Uh, I got some bourbon tonight. Look at this. Oh, oh, inside tip, guys. The wild turkey Kentucky spirit. This bottle is going away, so it'll be like a collector's item. So buy this up, store it for future bartering opportunities. But yeah, so we're doing that. I'm gonna pour some of this. Start chopping some veggies, making some pickles. Soup time right now on a side of bourbon. <laughs> Pickles first, though, I think. Santa. So Santa is creepy, and I don't like him. And Spody likes to torment me with Santa. So, now look at him, and just staring at my butt the entire time. Like, like a real pervert. But, pickles. Pickles. Cucumbers, right? So we're gonna pickle, uh... What's up, Razdar? See? See? Sunday, Razdar. It's all for you, man. It's all for you, dog. <laughs> So cucumbers, we're gonna de-seed these bad boys. Spoon, cut them in half, de-seed them. Easy, breezy. Uh, these are English cucumbers. Also, we're gonna cut these bad boys into little little strips after we get the seeds out of there. Dude, oh, rest dark. We also love pickles. We are a pickle loving household. Yeah, this is a this is a Maddie Madison uh, pickle recipe, mustard pickles. So if you, I mean, honestly, if you like pickles, you should also like mustard. I mean, they have the very m mustard is very pickly kind of economy, you know. So I'm just gonna de scrape all the seeds out of this. This will be like a lot of veggie chopping tonight, honestly, guys. So get ready, get ready. You don't like I haze? You don't like pickles? Uh, yeah, dude, me too, Rezzer. I, I love mustard, dude. So yeah, this like like these pickles will like go with like like have, like a nice pot roast, little side of mustard pickles. Get out of town. How do you not like pickles though, I Ace? You're a monster. You sir are a monster. <laughs> Y'all like protein? Well, I mean, guys, all like a real no. I Hayes is a is a a beefy man. He is a swole dude, so that's probably accurate. Not uh, uh We have Grillos in the fridge. I think I might have no, dude, we love Grillos pickles, man. We 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 uh, we buy them all the time. Grillos are the best. I mean, like the Vlasic or Claus, and like everyone's like, oh, it's like, it's like, it's always cold. Is it cold? The ones that are like always refrigerated yeah. are, are so good. So good, dude. Also, hey, I Hayes, have you tried the pickle protein powder? They're just, just, just delicious. That's, 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 that's all I, that's, that's all I drink. Mmm. 
Bro, look at these deceited cukes. I need like two cups. I'm hoping this is gonna be two cups. That's spit on myself. Possibly. Oh wait, wait. yeah. Oh yeah, this uh, yeah, the spicy ones are so good, dude. Spicy pickles. Yeah, we're gonna pickle the cukes, the cauliflower, and the pearl onions here, so pretty sick. Alright, I'm gonna cut these guys kinda thick. Get out of here. This guy's also cucumbers. So good. Wait, uh, wait, what did uh, Resort do? Uh, pork loin, uh, mustard, and brown sugar. Yeah, dude, nice. That's a pretty, uh, that's, that's like a pretty, a pretty classic combo there. I mean, it adds like your nice, like acidic, and then like your sweetness on top of it. That is good stuff. I'm actually gonna measure these, uh, like the cukes here. For eating them too. I need two cups of each veggie, so let's, m let's measure them out. Like this is like the like the most basic pickling ever. You, oh, dude, that's actually really smart. Yeah, um, one of my recipes. It's uh, roasted. Um, it's like a like a pork butt. And I put it on top of like of like of like big pieces of like uh, of like onion and like carrots and stuff. It works perfectly, and it adds like a little flavor to it too. You know, it works very nice. Modern day MacGyver. That's right. Oh, this will definitely be two cups worth of cucumbers. Probably more. Honestly, probably a lot more. Always tuck the, the thumb behind the fingers, guys. If you're trying to chop stuff fast. Don't want to have an accident. But yeah, like, this is my first time, like, actually, like, making a canned good. So I'm actually pretty excited about this. And also, guys, French, French onion soup, like, how is that? I mean, it is one of the best soups in the world. I'm actually so excited for that. Oh, me too. Oh, it's so delicious. Beefy, oniony. Covered in cheese and bread, like, come on. Speaking of spicy pickles, look at those spicy parmesan crisps. Oh, you want like, to eat those right now? Maybe. I'll let you know. Well, where are they? In the cabinet. Okay. Yeah, dude, so we, went to, so, uh, we go to Whole Foods sometimes, and they have these, uh, these spicy parmesan crisps that are so freaking good, dude. They are so... Actually, I'm going to go heavier on the cucumbers and lighter on the cauliflower, honestly, guys. Cause I want to, I'm gonna use like all these, and then go like only like a half cup of cauliflower, and then a little bit less on the onions, and put the onions in our soup. So, dude, pickled okra. You made pickled okra. Oh, that's cool. So, oh, you oh, really? So, Resnar, a question then: Do I have to boil the jars? So, like, I'm, I'm. This is like this is Matty Matheson's recipe, and he just says. Make like 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 heat it up in a pot and then put it in the jar. Like, do I have to, like actually like, boil the entire jar? I don't think I do, but I don't want to also kill anybody. So I'm not an expert canner. How thick do you think that is? Quarter inch? That's what I'm going for, but I'm worried I'm going too thick here. This will be about probably three cups, but that's fine. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go a little bit less on the cauliflower then. Resnar said it depends how you're gonna keep the jar and where are you gonna keep it. Well, yeah, the recipe says um, you can just like leave it out, um, so like just like not like like a, like a cool dark area is all the recipe says, but I, I don't know. I just don't know. I'll probably like keep it in the, like in the fridge though, still just for. Okay, okay. So yeah, I mean, like, I mean, I mean, I'm not making like yeah, okay. So if I, if I was making like forty gallons of the stuff, like boil them all. Like for a wedding. Right. Yeah. So for our wedding, 
Or like, um, from a store to room temp, book like five minutes. Okay. I may put them, like, put them, like, in the, in the, uh, in the fridge then. Okay, well, cool. Yeah, so, like, for, like, for a wedding, like, as a little, like, party favor, I'm gonna make, like, a bunch of jars of, like, either pepper jelly or something like that. So that stuff I may, like, like, boil in the jar. But it's probably yeah, it's a smart idea. Chimichurri. Think, sh well, think we should do chimichurri? Uh, I love your chimichurri. I do make a damn good chimichurri. All right, coops in the pot. Get in there, boys. That's a lot of that's a, that's a lot of cukes. Okay. All right. Some some chaffier. All right, cauliflower guys. So I know how to chop this stuff up. I'm gonna cut the bottom piece off. Just sort of put your knife in the bottom like that. Eventually it'll start coming off like that. Break up. Oh no. Break off the uh, green part. This is Sally. Can't eat that stuff. It looks delicious though. They're just gonna bring it around this side. It's all these big florets begin to kind of fall off. Careful, don't stab yourself in the hand like is like I tend to do sometimes. Boom. There you go. All your florets are out. Nice. The jelly. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, so my pepper jelly is like, uh, it's like pretty loose. It's like, uh, I mean, it's, it's, it's very saucy. Very, it's very saucy. I don't think I've ever had your pepper jelly. It's tasty. I once made a strawberry and pepper jelly, which was nice. A little bit sweeter. All right, so these guys, so with cauliflower florets, you don't want to like, so if you like cut like through it, it's going gonna, it's gonna to powder. So you want to keep it kind of whole. So you pretty much like, want to like cut the side of the stalk and then just like, like, it's like break it open. So if you want like a piece, cut the stock, break open, right? We're going for like, um, like that's about right, right there. This one's a little big, so I probably half it. Let's measure this stuff too. We're going at most two cups of this. I feel because I want mostly cukes. I want the cukes. The cucumbers! Well, dude, pepper jelly is so good on everything, man. Is there such a thing as strawberry rhubarb? I mean, I'm, I'm, yeah, I mean, I'm sure there is. I mean, if, I mean, I'm, yeah. Because I love strawberry rhubarb. Pie, pie. right? I mean, that's a pretty common flavor combo. I would say that's a thing. Someone I work with told me they made a root vegetable pie. So it was all... Like a, a savory? Yeah. Like turnips and rutabaga and carrot and stuff? Yeah, yeah. Delicious. Very fall. Dude, pepper jelly, oh, dude, you do not. I, I hate you probably don't like pepper jelly. Or do you? Is that like the one thing you actually like? Oh, hey, I hey, so, uh, me and uh, Dennis are getting poke on Monday. If you wanna come along for some poke, get your, get your, get your protein in. Oh, that's interesting. It's not pepper, it's pepper, it's like, it's like red bell pepper, it's like pepper jelly. Yeah, tomorrow. You probably don't like poke either, do you? I haze, you monster. Yeah, that's, uh, that's super cool, Rosen. Oh yeah, I didn't know that. So if it's not a fruit, because of like the, sh like the sugar content's low, so it's like hard to like make it, uh, get that like jelly-like consistency. guessing here I have no idea I do have a book on canning that uh, is pretty cool well it's a it's an it's a ebook so it's not it's not there oh so yeah see mine is um mine is like not spicy it's like more sweet uh, I use um, I use red peppers um, hey thanks man actually dude dude if you want a this time is like what thirty five dollars sixty five okay sixty bucks and it's it's awesome lifetime sharpening. If it gets dull, melt it back. They'll sharpen it and send it back to you. It's sick. Highly recommend these knives. It's I love them. Mizen. Mizen, yeah, Mizen. Actually, I'm thinking about doing a Mizen knife giveaway. I'm thinking about doing that one day, one day soon. Not tonight though. 
A ton of pectin, right? Okay, interesting. That's interesting, dude. What's pectin? Uh, uh, it's like a thickening agent. Oh, oh but yeah, but dude, a uh, casual Josh man, I actually have some. Like this, this knife is my. It's a Masahiro one-sided sushi knife. This bad boy is badass. <laughs> it's badass. All right, boom. Cauliflower in. Okay. Oh, oh, you made candy. Oh, the actual candy. Oh, that's that sounds awesome, dude. That sounds awesome. All right, let's get a few pearl onions up in her. <laughs> a few? That's a lot. <laughs> yeah. It's like Just a couple. A few, you dump out a huge pile. It's like a thousand. Oh, these look terrible. Whole foods, really, dude. This is not the first time I've bought. Look how shitty these onions are. Like, see that? Like, that means they're old as fuck. Oh, yeah. Disappointing. Dude, Whole Foods, man! They will straight up rip you off sometimes. I'm not even kidding. They, like, they're all like, oh, we're the, we're the best, whatever. But no, they will straight up rip you off. Yeah, these are, these are terrible. Will they still work? I don't think so. I don't think so. Like, they're so squishy. Like, that's a sign of, like, an old, old onion. It's only, like, $17 a bag. What a deal. Whole Foods, thanks. Yeah, these are not, these are not great. We may not use these. Wow, that's a, that is a shame. But if you're pickling them, does that matter? Yeah, but, like, see how, like, see how, like, loose they are? Like, that's uh, gonna fall apart. Uh... It'll, it'll be, like, little pieces of onion. Instead of like like an actual like pearl onion, it's like a very tight onion. Dude, totally could have. Totally could have gone to Walmart and saved a fortune and probably gotten better product. I mean, like a, cu a couple of them seem okay, but these like the big ones seem terrible though. I mean, they can go in the in the the soup though, so we'll use them for something. Look at that though. Like, see how, like, yeah. you like see through it? Like, yeah, all the it's lasers separating? Like it's washed out in the camera. It's terrible. Like, yeah. come on, dude. Come on, Whole Foods. Wait, does. Wait, Jeff Bezos from Amazon? He owns Whole Foods? Oh, is that why we got a discount for having Prime? Probably. That makes sense, huh? Yeah, we were there today, and they they give you like like a ten percent discount if you're a Prime member, and it was it's so stupid. Amazon owns Whole Foods. Oh, that's interesting. I did not know that, and that's why they have that Amazon Dropbox outside too. There you go. There you go. That is interesting right there, Mr. Reznor. Everything did not know makes that. So much more sense. Did not read that. Did not read that? Did not know that. Amazon owns the Washington Post. Probably. That's also crazy that a <laughs> company like Amazon owns a massive, you know, newspaper. That's probably a conflict of interest, but whatever. They only advertise for themselves. <laughs> yeah, probably. Although them being solid against like pop them out of the pop them out of their skin, watch this. Okay, well that one worked. Boom! It's got, it's got, it's got, it's got, it's got working out now. Boom! Ew! <laughs> it's wasting a lot of it, but whatever. It looks like you're popping up pimples. Boom! Actually, that's working awesome. Hey guys, here's how you skin pearl onions. Tear the bit off of your thumb and boom, onion. It's actually kind of, kind of impressive that I just, I just discovered this. Boom. That one actually, that was alright. Yeah, that's wild they own the Washington Post, though. Oh, media. How can we trust the media anymore? Where's Woods? I don't know, man. He may, he may show up. I'll, I'll, probably, I'll probably pop in later on. Oh, no, Wang Sack. Yeah, he's probably, he's probably dead by now. Yeah, he's in the basement still. We should keep feeding him. Should we? Yeah. I don't know. It's like a, it's like a, like a waste of resources. Is 
This is working surprisingly well. Yeah, Woods Brothers probably... Uh, I bet Wayne's would probably show up tonight, too, honestly. I don't know, though. He is get he is heavy in that in that, in that that Red Dead... That one is really gross. He's heavy in that Red Dead Redemption knife. Does he? Wait, Poverty, is that for real? Interesting. That Being sounds so, not real. That's not real. That does sound not real, but who knows? Boom, all right, that's, I think that's probably enough stuff. Okay, so next step, we add one cup white vinegar. We add two tablespoons ground mustard, one tablespoon turmeric. Is he really Pirate D? Like, Pirate D, I mean for real? I mean for real, bro? We add half a cup of sugar. Get in there. And that's it for right now. Boom. Simmer this. Get rid of all this junk though too. A private CIA cloud, huh? Interesting. Interesting. Good, we got a spoon over here. Come here, spoon. Is that enough liquid? Like I said, that, that looks like not enough liquid, but I don't know. We'll see what happens. We could have simmered this until tender. That's what it says. It smells freaking good. So, whatever happens is going to happen. It smells very, also it smells like mustard. So, win-win. <laughs> we're, we're, we're doing good. $600 million deal? No, this is, this is said for two cups of cucumber. But you did more than two cups. Well, I didn't do, but I only did two cups. Okay, no, I'll, I'll add a little bit more. I'll add a little bit more vinegar. Where's the vinegar? And I'll add a splash more of the turmeric and the, the uh, mustard powder. Like that much. Does that look? That's dark. How does that look? Does that look about right? I mean, it's like almost covered, right? Well, we, we do add a little bit of water later, but I don't know. I just don't know. Where do you add mustard and turmeric? Yeah. Mustard. Got you. Turmeric, where you at? Turmeric, here you are. All right. Well, oh, that's, that's, that smells really freaking good. A little, little sprinkle of the mustard in here again. And then a little sprinkle of the turmeric. Ah, turmeric. Okay, enough, okay. Okay. Reznor, appreciate you tonight. You are the man. All right, does that look, that looks about right, right? We add a little bit of water later, but it's in cornstarch, so I don't know if that's gonna make a difference, so. It smells freaking awesome, dude. <laughs> it smells so good. No, I mean, no, 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 I mean, I think you're right. I think like like this, like this looks about right. Like you want the sauce to be like just enough to kind of coat it, but not like be too saucy, you know. So we'll see what happens. All right, let me double this stuff out. Boom, and boom, and boom, and boom. But guys, I am most excited about using this slicer in a second. Wait, what's up? Oh, are you? Oh, Rez, are you got a PS4? Oh, dang! Dude, that game's so fun, man. It is a great game. When the when the when the multiplayer stuff gets figured out, it's gonna be so fun. <laughs> hey, that's super nice, man. Like, congratulations on that. Also, guys, cheers. Thanks so much for hanging out. Tonight's gonna be some good foods. So crack a bottle of something. I'll be at milk, coffee, some bourbon, whatever. Just hang out, make some nice food, you know? That's what life's what what about. In front of the whole store, hilarious. <laughs> like, do it now, everyone's gonna make fun of you. Oh, 
Oh, rest, are you, sweetie? Aww, what a sweetie. Cute. So freaking cute. Aww. Look at Santa's creepy head over your shoulder. Santa, <laughs> relax. Guys, this smells awesome. I am pumped. Uh, this looks about right, though, right? As far as like liquid, because like when this begins to kind of cook, like some like water will come out of the out of the vegetable, so should add a little bit to it. So I think I think we're a okay. Let that we're gonna let that go. We'll move, we'll move this out of the way too. All right, so we probably start chopping onions because that's gonna take a minute. Chop a million onions. So. Oh yeah, so guys, French onion soup is basically it's just a bunch of onions and some beef broth. And then top of the book, like a big crostini and some cheese, and you eat it with your face. And it's, a, and it's, a, and it's amazing. So Let's start chopping these onions up. Yeah, we're using actually three different kinds of onions. We're using uh, four different kinds. We're using uh, yellows, whites, uh, reds, and these, uh, like a little, little, little bit of pearl onion in there. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Actually, we just decorated uh, our house tonight. So our house is now lit up for the holidays. It's beautiful. Yeah, Spody loves some decorations. It's true. She is a fan. Yeah, so these guys, so uh, if you guys were here on Tuesday, we did um, that uh, caramelized onion uh, 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 dressing, not stuffing, dressing, not stuffing, a dressing. So, we're, uh, so pretty much we're caramelized onions two times in a row. What are the odds? What are the odds? But yeah, it's like half moving these guys up. I'm gonna get them sliced and half voice though. Sir Al! What's up? Oh. Oh, it was on the menu? Okay, uh, we got you. Uh, we got some uh, mustard pickles that we're making right here. We're gonna pickle some stuff up. And then we're going to look how look how we like orange or like yellow these guys are getting. That's awesome. Um, and then we're going to uh, make uh, some French onion soup. And we're also going to use our new slicer to make some beef carpaccio with uh, horseradish aioli, fried capers, a truffle oil, arugula salad. It's gonna be it's gonna be bananas. Bananas. Um, Hatch was here asked about our lighting. Uh, good lighting. Oh, actually, dude, how are, like, we're, like, we're not doing anything, like, that fancy. Like, I mean, we have, like, these, like, Logitech, like, the HD 1080p uh, cameras. Um, but, I mean, our kitchen just has, like, nat like, naturally good lighting. Like, we have, like, lights here, overhead light there, two lights here. So, like, there's a lot of light in the room, so. Yeah, like, like, like no, like, no, like, no, like, actual, um, like, photography lights, though, at all. Yeah, no, yeah, so. Luckily, our kitchen just has, like, really good lighting. But yeah, like these cameras, like I want to get like one really nice camera, um, but these work fine. Um, these like Logitech, I can't remember like the model name. It's like Logitech, the, the, the Logitech the HD 1080p cameras. They work awesome. They work awesome. Recommend. What bourbon are you drinking? Oh, so guys, tonight's bourbon is the Wild Turkey Kentucky Spirit. Um, if you guys see this in this bottle, bu like buy them. So Wild Turkey, uh, this month is discontinuing this bottle. So in like a year from now, people like will like want to buy these bottles of this bourbon because it's like a collector's item now. So, so, so get it. Yeah, yeah. The mustard powder was in with the uh, with the turmeric. It was all together. Look at all these onions. Guys, are onions are like the best vegetable ever grown? Oh, dude, I went on a, I, I have like a million bourbons right now. I have what, like seven bottles up there probably. <laughs> yeah, it's a real problem. <laughs> I see. I can see four up there, and then this, this is five, and there's one under the cabinet, so at least six bottles of bourbon now. Yeah, <laughs> I like the bourbons. I do, I do. 
Oh, this is already, this is looking, no, boys. Like, that looks like about right, right? So, like, is, like, is this, like, good, is like, is this, like, good, like, good to go? Yeah. I'm done. I'm done. Ha! Woo! Is that awesome? Come here, cauliflower. Oh, my God, dude. Dude, hash, that is, that is, that, yeah, that's so true, dude. Like, you gotta have your own knives, you know? Like, any place you work, their, their knives probably suck. So, I always have, like, one good knife you, like, carry around with you, you know? Also, dudes, if you guys didn't notice, look up top there. We're, uh, right here. Sub, we have a sub button, we got the affiliate. <laughs> so that's pretty cool, right? Not, not, I'm, not, I'm not saying like sub, but like we got affiliate. That's like very cool. I think it's cool. All right, so next step in this. So it heats oh, off. We didn't set up any alerts. Uh, we don't have any alerts, so we have no idea. Yeah. We have no idea if you guys sub. No one's up tonight because it's not even working. So don't, do not do it, please. No one. Seriously, don't do it. Because we want to know. I meant to do that today. I got, I got busy. All right, so this is uh, cornstarch and water. This is not enough water. Many medicines, you're wrong. Okay. So this is a slurry, right? This will be basically like what thickens the mix. Wow, this is way too thick, though. Eh, 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 too thick. All right, there we go. There we go. So yeah, we're gonna add this to it, and then we're gonna put it into some jars. Give me a freaking spatula. I mean, give me a, a whisk, I mean. <gasps> no whisks! Oh, no! <laughs> there, I got one. There we go. There we go. Then we're gonna whisk this up, make a nice little slur slur. Yeah, basically, I mean, uh, slurry is just uh, cornstarch and water. It's they, they like the classic thickener. Classic thickening agent. All right, that looks about right. Pour that in there. And time to can some canned stuff. Okay, nice. Nice. Is this, what, I think two jars worth, or? Yeah, at least two jars worth, right? Oh, it's already thick. It's already getting thick. Dude, these look freaking awesome, dude. I'm so impressed with this already. Oh, wow, look how thick that got so fast. That's crazy. That's crazy. All right, let's put it in, let's put it in, in some jars. Let's do this. Let's freaking do this. Get in there. Ooh, Get in there, pickles. Ah! Ah! That's like napalm. <laughs> what happened? We're gonna have an emote for the Coleman fuel can. <laughs> <laughs> the cause of two fires. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> That's a really, really funny one. Like, they could buy, like, the whole, like, the whole, like, everything's fine. That, uh, I think Pirate D had that amount from someone. Like, use that one to be, like, it's like, it's like the Coleman fuel can on fire that says everything's fine. All right, there's one. I think that's, I think that's, that's one jar. One jar, good to go. Look how good these look, dude. Are you kidding, are you kidding me right now? Are you kidding me right now? Boom. Pickles. Jar of pickles. Look at that! Friggin' neat! Just put it in the fridge. Put it in the fridge. Alright, jar number two. 
Uh, this could be like three jars worth, honestly. We got like the we didn't we couldn't find the big jars, so like these are like the medium sized guys. I don't know. This could fit into, into one. God, these look and smell so oh, damn Rosemary good. Oh, Rosemary just said you might want to take a tiny bit out because it's gonna ooze when it expands. Okay, uh, that one wasn't to, uh, like to the top. Okay. Yeah, there was there was there's some air in it. But good tip though. I will leave this one actually a little bit even less. Oh God, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of nervous. Should I pull some out of this one? I don't know. Santa, what do you think? Santa, what do you think about that? Ho ho ho! Poor lady. I'll pour like one little bit. Get out of there. We'll do that. There you go. Oh, that's good. That's good. Good. That's good. 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 Still looks pretty good though. Okay, top off this jar. So yeah, we got like, yeah, so this one should be like one more good jar full, so all right. Cool, cool. I'll do a little rinsey rinse. Got them covered in schmutz. Jar is tightly sealed. Dude, these look awesome though, man. I'm super, I'm very excited about this. Look how good these look. I love that. I love that. Yeah, no, I'm, yeah, okay, I'm with you. Yeah, no, yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, no yellow ooze. It's not happening now. Jonathan. What? You just hit my camera. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. All right, one more jar. Cool. This is cool. Okay. Right, this one's gonna be the most the most sauciest one. Get in there. Get in there. Ah! Miss missed a little bit there. That's it. Mustard pickles have been pickled. No! Gotta eat it now. It's funny. You wanna, you wanna try one of these? Patch is asking about mines and knives. Jonathan. Oh, Wait, what? Wow. Right? Oh, wow. Delicious, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mines and, yep. Dude, I... I, I mean, I bought this kind of like on a whim, like their marketing just got me. I like, it was like a Facebook ad, I was like, yeah, I'll, I'll try one out. I love them. They were so good. And they have, they have lifetime sharpening. So like if, like if it gets dull, like a, like a year later, you put it back in the box, mail it to them, they sharpen it and send it back to you razor sharp. Super cool. Very cool. All right, boys and girls, there you go, mustard pickles. Super easy, right? It's way easier than I even thought. Look at that. They have three jars of these bad boys now. Pretty excited about that. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. All right. And they're already sealing up too. Cool. That is neat. That is freaking neat. All right, you gotta get your pot for W now. Santa. Relax over there, I see you being weird. All right, so a little clean up real fast of all the pickle stuff. Got the spoon on. This will be our onion spoon also, so. All right, nice. Probably get a new towel, this one's kind of mustardy now, so. But yeah, yeah, hats though. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm a, I'm a, uh, I know, dude. So actually, hats. Also, I just bought a, um, a, a belt sharpener uh, from Mizen to like sharpen my own knives because I have, I have what, t ten knives at least. So yeah, it's good. It's definitely like some, like some upkeep to make sure they're, they're sharp. But it's important. So. Tom, 
Tommy wants to know what you're making. You gotta do it. Tommy, what's up, baby? Ooh, show my other jacks. <laughs> oh, dude, Tommy, so we just we just made some uh, awesome mustard pickles. Look at these things. Mustard pickles, it's cucumber, cauliflower, pearl onions, and this nice, like, thick mustard sauce. Uh, yeah, so, I mean, they're, we tasted them, they're delicious. So that was, that was the first thing. That was, that was, the, that was the first thing that we uh, made. But now we're on to the French onion soup. And then after that, we're doing beef carpaccio because we got ourselves a cool slicer that I'm really pumped about using. So. Wedding present. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, sharpening, yeah, sharpening stones. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta learn. You just gotta learn. You do it, what, like once a year on the stones? Once, yeah. Yeah, about that. I mean, I, I try to hit them on like the like the sharpening steel uh, pretty often to keep them like honed, but I sharpen my knives about once a year, yeah. But with this belt, this like belt thing, it'd be like zip, zip, sharp, done. Zip, zip. Zip, zip. Yeah, man. Yeah, yo, yo, Tommy, have you guys moved yet? Are you guys in was the Virgin, the Virgin Isles? Right? I don't remember. Somewhere cool like that? You got somewhere cool right now? Some of lame old Nashville, you know? Just kidding, I said love Nashville. Alright. Time to slice a billion onions. Let's get a pot over here too. <laughs> Also tonight, so with the uh, with the with the fish onion soup, we actually flambe because we add a bunch of like mid, like Madeira wine and stuff, so it actually catch on fire. So what? Yeah. <laughs> you didn't tell me that. Well, now you know. Now I told you. Keep the uh, fire extinguisher close by. <laughs> oh, you are with that. Cool, dude. Wait, BBI. What is that? Oh yeah, we yeah, have yeah, British Virgin Isles. Nice, dude. Oh, Candace is okay. All right, so you're flying solo right now. Cool, man. That is cool, though, dude. <laughs> yeah, Pirate. Our first emote is gonna be the. Uh, um, oh, is this the ducks? It's, yeah, the yep. Yeah, it is. It is hatch. It's the uh, induction uh, cooker. <laughs> his, his propane privileges were taken away. Butane. 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 That's not. That wasn't my fault though. That was a faulty uh, mechanism. I'm sort of gonna be like setting stuff on fire tonight. Like no big deal. Just you know some fire and stuff. It's fine. <laughs> yeah. Well, right. Yeah. I mean, it's too late now. It's gonna happen. It's going to happen. Actually, wait, where's the top of this? Make sure I have that, that handy, too. In case it does really good, I mean, it should. It's like a little fast flambe. Fast flambe! In case. The old FF. Yeah. The old fast flambe. Well, okay. <laughs> Dude, is, is, is there like a trick to like peeling onions that I don't know? Because this is like the, like the longest part of the, the entire process. Alright, boom. Last one. Oh, and then the, the freaking pearls over here. We gotta do those again, too. It's fine. It's, it's, it's fine. It's fine. French onion soup. Those, seriously, like, like this soup is so good, though. I mean, it's like everything good in the world. In one pot of soup. <laughs> I told you the details. We're talking about. Uh, you didn't tell me about the fire. Well, I didn't tell you every detail. Gotta leave some excitement, some surprise, you know. Tommy, is there a secret to peeling onions that I just don't know? God, these are terrible pearl onions. Come on, Whole Foods, seriously. Is the soup? Uh, yeah, uh, it, I'm not. Well, I mean, it is and it's not. Um, 
I, like, his recipe, like, takes, like, three hours to make it. Like, I made for the soup a million times. And that's, like, three hours long. So, it was gross. Almost, like, like, literally rotten. So, I'm not going to follow it exactly, but, you know, close enough. Come here, onions. Get, get, come here. Get over there. Oh, come here. Not with, not with the skin on it. Oh, this one's terrible, too. Whole Foods, thumbs down. Crazy Russian hackers. <laughs> he had a, an onion dicer? It's a weird thing for a hacker to have, but yeah, I got you. All the onions are in this. I'm not saying I'm going to slice these guys. These, these pearls up. I'm going to bowl. Like a little, like a little pearl onion nugget in there. What do you think about that, Spody? Yeah. There's onion skin everywhere in this, in this kitchen. That's gonna be a problem. That's gonna be a prab. Okay, got this. There we go. There we go. Alright, give me a new towel. Let's see. Give me a towel. Santa, relax. I see you over there being weird. Blanch and shock really quick to make it easier. Like leave them like totally like don't even peel them. Just pop them in some water and then shock them in an ice bath. Interesting. Interesting. All right. God, there's onion skin everywhere. All right, get out of here. Little cup. All right, let's chop these bad boys up. And some butter going on. Let's get our butter going on fast. One stick of butter. Santa, look at some judgy. Santa, Santa, are you judging me right now? I mean, he's been checking my butt out the like the entire stream, so I'm not sure what he's judging, honestly. Yeah. But is he is he like is he a butt judger? Damn it, Santa. He's like, do you need that, all that much butter, fat butt? It's butter right though. All right, butter and canola, get it in there. Yeah, so Maddie Madison's recipe for this, it's like you cook it on low for like two hours, but we're not, we're not doing that. Right there. Out of here, onions. I need some space. Yeah, so last week we actually added sugar to it to make them caramelize faster. We're not doing that this time. We're just gonna let them go all natural. With all the onion types. Yellow, white, red, purple, green, blue, all of them. Also, he used shallots in his, but I didn't have shallots today, so I was like, F it. It's fine. It's probably gonna be like, oh, what? No shallots in the soup? Garbage. Oh, yeah, we do have something just like that. Yeah, yeah, we do. But like that, um, that's like, I mean, my, 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 my thing is like, it's like peeling it. Like if it's already peeled, then I'm probably good. It's just the, uh, the, like the peeling is the problem, you know? Get in there first batch. Damn, that's a lot of onions right there. So many onions. I mean, the soup is mostly onion, so it makes sense, you know. What happened? 
Dude, I know, dude. No, Whole Foods. I mean, it is. It's, I mean, only only thing I get from Whole Foods they have like a like a, like, a, like a really nice meat counter. Um, that's the only thing I really care about. And they have these things, these like uh, spicy Parmesan crisps, that are uh, that are amazing. They are amazing. They are amazing. Dang, so many onions, man. So many onions. All right, pearls, get in there. You're gonna be the stars. Get in there and be somebody. There's more bits of your, your pearl onions there. Get in there. Get them nice and sweaty. Nice sweaty onion up in here. No, yeah, no, Rezzer, I agree with you 100%, man. I mean, I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't buy, like, meat from Walmart. Like, I, I, I mean, I'm not, like, a hippy-dippy kind of person, but I do think, like, factory farmed meat is kind of like a travesty. I think they treat their animals like absolute shit. Pardon the French. So I, I like buying from a place that I think at least they're, like the animals that are slaughtered or have a little bit better of a life, you know? Like that's important, but I don't know, you know. But yeah, like buying like, like folks like buy like all their, like buy the mayonnaise and stuff. Uh, I'll be a mayonnaise from there today, but, but. Yeah, right, yeah, totally. Oh, uh, oh, uh, actually next week I'm a master chef, yeah, yeah. Dude, what do I say you on master chef, Tommy? What are you talking about? You're the actual professional chef, you famous, for the famous people. What are you going to be on there, man? You'd be, you'd kill it. With your personality, you're a beautiful man. Get on there. Stop what? Stop what? Stop what? His wife is out of town. He needs some loving. I'm gonna hit on him right now. On 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 strims. Boom! Onions get in there. All right, that's so many onions. It's that is insane. Oh my! Thanks, Ravel. Yeah, 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 yeah. Actually, I, I was I I I'm better usually, but uh, but uh, yeah, no, I appreciate that. It's practice. You know, and I'm like in a hurry, so I'm like, chop these onions up. Quick! Alright, boom, onions chopped, nice. Guys, I am, I can't tell you though how excited I am about using this meat slicer here in a minute. It's gonna be sick. Super sick. Also, our kitchen will sweat onions for the next four years now, so. I'm okay with that. Yeah, onions are, are delish. Also, I kind of like, like like onions like not all chopped the exact like I like having like, a little bit of texture like oh this was a little bit not quite so chopped oh nice you know so I wasn't being too careful about like my like 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 like, like this guy look at that big hunk of white onion in there whatever it's fine it's fine all right I'm I'm gonna cover these guys up also because I want them to like to, like to sweat a lot all the natural sugars. Master Chef is Amateur Chef's bro. <laughs> That's true. That's actually true. That's true. Alright. Top it off. Let that stew. Alright, so, while that's stewing, what should we do next? The carpaccio? Maybe? Question mark? A little more bourbon? Alright. Both? Who knows? I did a trial run of my slicer earlier, and it turned out pretty sick. So, so I'm excited. Uh, let's, 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 let's get our crostinis made real fast. Well, that's what kind of while we're chilling. The 
wheel going. All right, for the super using sliced white bread. I mean, Ray Rezar, I mean, I'd be, it'd be memorable. It'd be very memorable. <laughs> yeah, so the, for the super doing uh, about two slices each of this bread here. But then for the carpaccio, we're doing the, the baguettes over there, so. So you know. Just gonna slice these guys up. We'll do probably like two croissants per soup bowl. Trim off the crust there. Crusty crust, get out of here. Got a life. Boom, boom, boom. Then we're gonna like, we're gonna grill these pretty hard. Like they're gonna be like past like golden brown. It'll be like very like a nice deep brown um, crostina. Because I mean, it's, I mean, it's, it's, it's gonna go in soup, right? So it needs to be like pretty like hearty, you know what I'm saying? Do you know what I'm saying? Put some butter here on the griddle. Gonna fry these bad boys up! I mean, the crostini, as far as like frittin' the soup goes, is very important. Very important. I would say as important as the soup itself. It's a man of Coochie Mountain, so. Right, right, yeah, right. Well, I mean, I, 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 Tommy, is that true, though? I thought like, most of those guys are, like, like, like actually, like, like, working chefs, though. But I, I could be wrong. Or are they wannabes? Wannabes. I do like Master Chef Junior, though. So freaking cute. Those kids are so nice of each other. I sometimes cry during that show. I'm not, I mean, no, I'm not going to lie. I'm gonna be full disclosure. I sometimes cry during Master Chef Junior, and by sometimes I mean most times. Boom! Nice. Okay. Oh, they are. Okay. Oh, interesting. So, wait, what's the one? Is it? I guess Iron Chef. Like those guys are like real, like professional, paid chefs, right? This is so much onion, this is crazy. I mean, this is one of those, like, onions, like, it's kind of like spinach, like, when you cook it, it cooks down, like, to, like, a third of what it, you know, was when you put it in the pot, so. What ifs? God, this already smells so damn good, though. Oh my god, already smells, like, though, like, the mix of, like, the white onions, the yellow onions, the red onions, the pearls, like, they're such, like, onions are such, like, different profiles of flavor that put them all together like makes this crazy good smell. I love it. I freaking love that. God, it smells spotty, right? It smells so good. It smells so damn good. Put a little more salt in there though. Okay, yeah, yeah, Iron Chef Chop. Yeah, okay, I got you, I got you. Uh, was that an onion skin in there? No, okay, it wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't. I was about to be mad at myself. Look at him already getting all nice and wilty and juicy. Nice and juicy. Yeah, so after this gets going, uh, like, actually going, like, with the stock and stuff in there, we're going to do our, our, uh, our carpaccio with a, uh, it's a horseradish aioli, um, a truffle vinaigrette arugula salad, and uh, some like baguette pieces. It's gonna be nuts. Oh baby, look at this bread. Already looking nice. Where's all our spatulas? Am I the spatulas over here? The rubber spatulas? I think they am. Oh, they're probably clean though, aren't they? Did we wash dishes today? Yeah, 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 yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. <clears throat> Ew. Yeah, I know, Rez. I've, I've seen that kind of stuff too, Reznar, and it's so gross, dude. 
Like, they make the weirdest ice cream. Like, ice creams? Like, don't fuck with ice cream. Like, give me some, like, chocolate ice cream. Don't give me, like, ice cream that shouldn't be ice cream, you monsters. You know? So ice cream is sacred and also delicious. Look at these onions. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so the difference between this recipe and like the actual Maddie Madison recipe is he cooks his onions for two hours. And I'm I just I just can't. I I just can't do that. I mean I get it. I get like the slow cooking on these the guys is like I mean the flavors develop so much, but Is Santa judging me right now? Alright. I'm gonna crank this up a little bit because I want it to get caramelized. I want that caramelization. Yeah, so Maddie would like cook it low and slow for like two hours, but I'm, I just can't. I just can't do that. I'm sorry. I don't. I don't know if it's like that much better than just like getting it done. So I'm just gonna get it done. You know. I mean, I I, I do agree with like when you first start it, do it real slow, let it really will, let all that water and sugar kind of come out of it. But like, then you can crank it up and like just do it. You know. Get her done, as that comedian would say. What's his name? Cable guy, Larry, Larry, the cable guy. I guess I smell cooking bread. Oh baby, oh baby! Look at these guys. Looking beautiful. Looking beautiful. Although, gosh, do we use the baguette for the suit though? I feel like the like the crust around the edges really adds to the aesthetic of it. But I don't know. Like we'll 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 see we'll, we'll 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 see how it goes. Play it by eye. Ah uh, yeah, dude. I know, guys. Sorry, I know totally. I mean, I can caramelize these guys in like 20 more minutes. So I'm just gonna crank the heat up to about you know medium high, and do it. There's a little pearl onion floating around in there. Hopefully that was a good call. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Either way, it's going to be teaksty. I'm not too worried about it. Not too worried about it. I know, man. Like, so rest of me, I've like, I've thought about like doing more prep before the stream, but I don't know. I, I kind of like doing it because I like talk to you guys, like hang out, you know, instead of like, oh, here, just put this in there, put that in there, boom, boom, boom. Two minutes later, done, you know. It's kind of too fast. Oh, yeah, wait, uh, Razzar, do you like slow cook your sauce? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a pretty fast in that sauce. I think it's pretty good. But actually, I'm thinking about doing Italian for the next drink. What? Either stuffed shells. I was literally just about to say stuff. Or baked uh, rigatoni. Because that's like, I'm thinking about doing like one more uh, Maddie recipe. He has stuffed shells in there? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I knew it. Look at my pickles! And the seal got sucked in. Neat. It's a friggin' date. Guys, it's a friggin' date. I mean, there's like buttered white bread grilling is probably the best thing in the world, right? It smells so damn good. I, said, I, I don't like what I keep, I keep seeing like a. I feel like there's an onion skin in there somewhere. This guy? Yeah, I feel, I feel like this guy's gotta go. Get out of there, idiot. No one likes you, onion skin. Oh my god, no, look at this soup. Can you not soup that? <laughs> That's not true, dude. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> I'm like, ah, screw it. Fingers are fine. Oh, 
Oh, so Rezar, so you make like a like a Sunday gravy style. You have like your tomato sauce. You put put in your meat and stuff. Dude, uh, yeah, let, me, let me let me show you this pic. So this is his mother-in-law Sunday gravy, and it's so freaking good, dude. Let me find that real quick. Oh, also grilled oysters, though. That looks sick in there, too. Yeah, so look at this. So that's that's what his mother-in-law makes for Sunday gravy. Right? I mean, that's got to be so damn good. This has ribs, sausages, meatballs. Oh, God. But, but your mom has the pepperoni, which I think is Genius. Yeah, she does. It's genius. Yeah, it's weird, man. Like, so, like, like, like reading his cookbook. I'm actually like listening to like to the audio book. Also, him like, like, like him like reading it to you. You know, his family and me and, and mine is like Spotty family are very similar. Like, she's Irish, uh, Italian. Um, I'm very like meat and potatoes as far as like my mom and stuff. So like, it's really weird, like. How closely related, like his life, like his like food life and our life, our food life is very cool. But right, that's what's cool about food, though, man. Like it, 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 it like kind of like like defines you. Like food, like what your mom made, like what your grandma made, like really like sticks with you. And like I don't know, as far as like someone who like who cooks, it really, really like like makes you like the person you are. You know, food is very wild. It's you know, it's a very cool thing. Very cool thing. The other day at work, someone told me that they grew up uh, with their mom making them lasagna. Yeah. And they went out to a restaurant and ordered lasagna, only to find out his whole life his mom had been lying to him. What she had been making was not lasagna. She just called it that. So when he got it at the restaurant, he was like, what is this? He's like, I ordered lasagna, sir. I think what she, is this? She did more of like a casserole. <laughs> well, I mean, you know. Like she called it like 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 lasagna though, like, not like lasagna. <laughs> he, at the restaurant, he was literally like, "This isn't lasagna." He's like, "Us? Uh, oh, sir, sir, I ordered the lasagna." Yeah, yeah, same here. Yeah, like like my mom's very like meat and potatoes. She's very like she's, like she's, like her like she's a, a great cook, but her style is more like country, like braised greens, pot roast. Potato, like, you know, like mashed potatoes, like very like basic stuff, but they're always like awesome. Um, and then Spoda's family is very Italian, so like yeah, they're, 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 they're very like Sunday gravy, stuffed shells, you know, spaghetti and meatballs, uh, well, like a lot of seafood. We didn't like we didn't need like, like, like a ton of seafood. Fish feast. Yeah, New Year's Eve, uh, Christmas, Eve Christmas Eve uh, fish feast, you know. Yeah, it's cool, man. It's cool, like, how, like, food, like, tells the history like, of your family. I think that's super cool, you know? I think that's super, super neat. I mean, food is way more than just, like, sustenance. Like, we, like we're past that point, you know, as far as, like, a... <laughs> yeah. Oh, I thought you were, like, crying about your, like, your grandma and stuff. Oh, no. <laughs> I was like, oh, wow, oh, no. Wait, no, this is from the onions. Like, you should be watering the onions. I should be watering too. Then I'm, I'm not. Yeah, but you're a monster. <laughs> like these are already cooked too. Uh, Guys, Spody's literally crying. I'm not. Behind crying. my camera. My eyes are watering. Like I look up and I was, I was, I was like, oh no. <laughs> that, 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 like that story really got Spody. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, right in the feels. My eyes are stinging. Oh really? Your mom's like, oh oh yeah. My mom, my mom. I mean, my mom is a good cook. She doesn't venture outside of her, like, comfort zones, you know? Although, the, she makes biscuits, though. Her biscuits are amazing. So amazing. They're, like, the best thing I've ever had. Right? They're crumbly. They're crumbly. They're flaky. They're kind of salty. Fluffy at the same time, they're delicious. They are delicious. 
All right, guys, we're just waiting for these to get kind of round, so it's going to take a minute. Let's start working on our sauces for our carpaccio. And our, uh, we got to get some, uh, so, like, if you guys don't know what carpaccio is, carpaccio is basically just, like, uh, very thinly sliced raw beef. Um, we're going to do a horseradish uh, aioli on top of it. We have some truffle oil for it, fried capers, and then crostinis. Um... Oh really? Yeah, right. Yeah, dude. Yeah, but LA back in the yeah, that's there was all kinds of food in LA back in those days, right? Um, yeah, they're doing some baguettes for the carpaccio. So basically, you're gonna do like a piece of bread, smear the carpaccio on there, a little bit of uh, the caper and sauce, and like your like your little salad. Delicious. Delicious. Oh, this is starting to get there, that boys. I mean, dude, is there anything better than a giant pot of fish onion soup, though? I say nay. I say nay. Yeah, we want some nice thick baguettes here. Not too thick, but you know, some nice hearty baguettes. You freezing the beef? The beef is already froze. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, so we went to Costco uh, last weekend, and we got some, some, uh, some tenderloins, and I have, this is my, this is the one I've already been testing on, this is my, like, carpaccio piece for tonight. Already, already, already done. Oh, bread knife, look at the bread knife. I mean, I, have, I do have one, but this is, this, uh, this knife is Shap, does a fine job on the breads. It smells so freaking good, dude. All right, let's get our griddle back going. Griddle back going. Put some more butter on there. So I'm chopping butter off now. It's kind of, it's kind of, kind of crummy now. So I'm not gonna put my butter in the crumbs. Oh. Baby, these onions are smelling nice. It's kind of funny we did caramelized onions twice in a row. <laughs> oh, dude, yeah, Tommy, see, my, see our uh, our slicer back here? This was a wedding present we got uh, about a week ago from one of the ants. Let's throw these ants, I mean. And tonight is the un is the inaugural christening of the slicer. So pretty cool. Yeah, some nice crusty crostinis going on. Crusty crostinis, am I right, guys? Am I right? Oh, this is like, this is getting so crazy good right here. So crazy good. All right. Probably do our horseradish sauce too real fast, huh? Let's pour a little more bourbon. This is a side of bourbon, is it not? It is. The answer is yes, it is. God, dude. Okay, so let's get our horseradish sauce going. So we're going carpaccio, horseradish aioli, fried capers, and like a nice, like lemony, truffley, arugula salad on top with the uh, baguettes. Resnar, get you some, mouse. So we got mayonnaise, obviously. We got lemon juice, obviously. We got horseradish in the fridge, obviously. Yep, right there. Oh, onions, 
why you looking so good. Okay, so let's get our spoon on there, because that's bad form. Your spoon should stay in your pot. Okay, bad form, bad form. <laughs> yeah, all the boozes. Yeah, totally, man. Yeah, like, like once you get a house, it's like easier to like, you know, you're like, okay, because of the down payment and like, your credit's gotta be great, you know? So like, once you get it, you're in, you're in there. Oh, you should've, yeah, dude. That, that's a tricky way to get a lot of liquor in your house. Pretty sick. All right, so we're doing horseradish aioli. A few dollops of the mayonnaise in there. Add a little bit of limon. Oh, that's a, it's a great party. It's a great party. Yeah, one of our friends, like, two years ago, for his birthday, he was like, hey, let's have a bourbon tasting party. Everyone bring a bottle of bourbon and we'll taste them all. Which took, and so we all left our bottles there. So we had like 40 bottles of bourbons like, at his house and left there. I was like, I was like, oh, I got you. I got you, Eric. I got you. I see, I see what you did there, you genius. Oh, yeah. See, once you start getting like this like nice bit of fawn on the bottom there, you know you're about to start getting some caramelization. And that's what you want. That is what you want, man. Put these bad boys down to this the marrow, yeah. Uh, for like, uh, like, oh, you mean like monthly or like for like a down payment? Restaurant. I'm guessing you mean monthly, right? It would, uh, that sounds about right as far as like, you know, m mortgages go. Did I just get another spoon out and I lost it already? All right, add a little bit of host radish to this too, cause it's good. It. No, I had another one because it's covered in mayonnaise to get the oh. horse radish out. But I think I, I'm not sure what I did with it. I thought I got it out, maybe I didn't. I don't know. Play the replay. See what I did. <laughs> See where it is. <laughs> yeah, monthly. Oh, okay. Yeah, nice, nice. Okay, that, oh, nice. Yeah, cool, dude. I'm pretty new to the whole like house owning thing, so. Oh yeah, sir. Yeah, sir. Well, that's yeah. Actually, that no, that 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 is a, a pretty cheap uh, monthly. But I mean, I mean, it all depends like how many years you. I mean, you could do like a sixty-year mortgage. I mean, then it gets cheaper. But then, uh, yeah, totally. It all depends. Oh, the bread. Hey, Brad, you're probably burned out, aren't you? Whoop, whoop, whoop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah. I thought that's one of those reasons you got those giant tongs. I mean, tweezers. Tweezers? Yeah, I mean, it is. But you can't, you know, you're in a hurry. You gotta go, gotta go flip it quick. Oh, baby, that's looking good. Yeah, totally. Yeah, especially like in like in like not in like you know in like 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 not in the big cities. Yeah. Yeah. No, totally, dude. Dude, I mean like like we live in Nashville, man. Like, there's some areas around here you can get a, a, a still like get a, a nice house for not that crazy money. What's that need? More lemon, I think. A little more limon. A little canola on there too. I feel like it's like too, too mayonnaise -y. You are getting there, boy. Loving it. Nice, dude. <laughs> yeah, dude. Nashville is stupid. Nashville is stupid. Boy, you get that fire pit, though. You know? I mean, you got a fire pit, though. Pretty nice. 
and it's a really nice, it's not like cheap cardboard, it's like really nice cardboard, so it's not that bad. Not that bad. A little salt and pepper in our aioli. Right? So I'm gonna get some more horseradish also. I'm not like, really getting that horseradish coming through. Uh, dude, no, California Resnard is stupid prices, man. Like, stupid, stupid. Great weather, though. Nice beaches, great weather. But, yeah, expensive, man. Totally expensive. Alright, that is good, good to go. Check our bread out again, too. I mean, guys, like, French onion soup is not a rush recipe. It does take some time. Even me doing it faster than, like, I probably should be. Alright, all the bread is done. All the bread is done. And the sky is crazy. It's off. Boom, boom, boom. Kind of here. Kind of there. Santa, stop judging me. I'm doing my best. He's like, someone's on my naughty list. Alright, don't do I know, I know. No, 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 yeah. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Tall skinny cat, man. No, Tommy, I haven't yet. I mean, I, I did see their, web, their, their their website, and it's a dangerous thing for me to know this store exists, honestly. Because them knives are nice. <laughs> and I wish I could, like, put them on my wedding registry, but I feel like they're maybe too, too much. <laughs> like I had you hold back on those copper pods. I mean, hey man, you gotta put it out there. Like some rich uncle will be like, you know what? I'll drop a grand on ya. Guys, this is coming along beautifully. All right, I think I only was looking nice. Tastes nice, looks nice, feels nice, is nice. Dude, Cervell, you like you like really should. <laughs> yeah, dude, Nashville, come on, man, come on over. We got bourbon, right? Dude, no state income tax is pretty sick, which is why a lot of celebrities like claim they live in Nashville when they actually don't. They buy a house here. Because like, like like buying the house saves them like five million dollars a year because like their taxes are zero for like the state, you know. Al Gore lives here. Pretty cool. Boom. This is good. We're getting there, boyos. We're getting there. We are getting there. Alright, mayonnaise, done with you. Right? Do the mayonnaise, right? No more mayonnaise stuff? Hey Pickles, how you doing? Oh, look at these snakes. Look at these pickles I made! They're awesome! So in Maddie's cookbook, he says his mom makes mustard pickle sandwiches. Which I'm like, alright. <laughs> what? Yeah, it's like sliced bread, a bunch of the that, and then like a sandwich. Not, not upset about that. Sounds actually delicious. Those crazy Canadians. Dude, we should like go to like the whole like, the whole like PEI, the whole like Maritimes part of Canada. It seems awesome. Oh baby, look at this onions! I am pumped. If you guys can't tell, I am excited about, about this. All right, we got one sauce made. Okay, all right. You go to Pepper and New York, uh-oh. Like, New York City? Or like, the entire state? 
Because the city as a whole, like, uh, New York is like, pretty, pretty good. New York City, though, is a bunch of idiots. Let's play for the most part. <laughs> Tejas. Alright, what's, okay, what is next, though? What is next? I don't know. I'm just gonna let this play out. Look at this bond on the bottom of this pan, though. It's getting so close. Northern County phone. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like, because, like, like, there's, like, a lot of great parts about, like, New York State, you know? But the city, real iffy. I mean, I, I love the city, but I couldn't, I couldn't live there. <laughs> it's the best country in the world. <laughs> it's true, it's true. That's true, man. I mean, California, dude, has some great food. And, like, the wine. I mean, come on, we can't, the wine's gotta stay. I mean, Thomas Keller, you know. Okay, you okay, know what? Okay, we'll keep Napa, San Diego, and we'll keep, like, most of like, the north of California. The rest of it get, get like, be its like, own thing. All right, fair enough, compromise. This is getting so close to being time for, the, for all the other stuff. So close. All right, let's get our stock over here also. That's gonna go in here soon. Uh, I got the arugula out too, huh? About time for that. Get a little bowl here for the arugula salad. A nice salad. This is so close to being ready to go. <laughs> yeah, no, it's true. Well, that's like San Francisco, though. San Francisco is like going downhill fast. Real fast. I mean, you get great lobster rolls, you get the, you go to the wharf, you get you a nice loaf of sourdough, some nice clam chowder, it's delicious. But... You can go to Maine for that too. That's true, that's true. Uh, Northeast girl up here be like, oh, also Maine, guys. <laughs> this is getting so close to being good to go. Let's get a little more brown, that'd be good. Yeah, San Francisco is not, is not, it's kind of, it's, it's, it's gone downhill. Like, well, I mean, I think, like, the whole thing in San Francisco is, like, is, like, the whole, like, the, like, the, the, uh, like, the opiate, like, the heroin has gone insane in San Francisco, which just breeds so much bad stuff, so. Uh, stuff, oh, that sounds nice, dude. Stuff lobster tail, very nice. All right, so, all right, I think these are good to go. I'm gonna dust them with a little, little, little bit of flour. A little, 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 little bit of flour dusting. Okay. Help thicken up the stuff. It's like one spoonful of that. Kind of area, area. A little bit of that. Mix that up. Because, I mean, it's, that, that's about right. You want it to be like, looks kind of looks like, a, like, a, like an old mop. Like an old dirty mop. You know? Okay. Let's add our Madeira wine. Delicious. Let's add some port wine. Also, not port wine. This is port wine. Delicious. A splash, splash of that. Mm-mm. So rich, so rich. 
A little bit of sherry. All right. Boom, boom, boom. Nice. This may get on fire, though, so you guys uh, watch out. Oh my god, dude, that smell, though? And it's gonna catch on fire after your face over it. It is not gonna catch on fire. That smell, though? I got like a little more Madeira than that, I think. What is that? Madeira wine? Oh. Yeah, like, you know, a little more sherry. Come on. Yeah, come on. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god, dude. Oh, baby. Oh baby! Holy hell, it smells so damn good. I want to I want I, I, I want to flambe this. No. I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to flambe this. Oh god. Is, is this no sensation that you have to flambe this? I say it is necessary. Yeah. Ah, it's not enough. Okay, it's not necessary. <laughs> I, <know. laughs> I mean, it, it, like, it would, it'd be cool, though. People were on board. Were they? <laughs> All right. More just okay. Because. All right. Too long. If I was doing it like, 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 like over the actual gas stove, it would have happened instantly. But <laughs> not this time, though. All right, now we're adding the stock, which is pretty much like what the, like the soup is. Pretty much all stock. <laughs> Byron D, nice to know you. <laughs> it's nice to know you. <laughs> but cool, man. Nice, uh, nice to uh, know you. See you later. All right, boom. That's pretty much the soup, man. I'm not gonna let it just cook all down. Oh my god, that already looks amazing. Already looks amazing. Oh my god, dude. It already looks amazing. Like, I'll eat it right now. No, I, yeah, I know, Tommy. I know, I know. Too much vapor. Yeah, I, yeah, I know. I know. It's fine, though. I mean, it, 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 it like reduces so fast. What? Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, the alcohol has gone so, like, so fast, so. What kind of stock is it? Uh, beef stock. The beef stock. All those little bits of onion on the side here, get those in there. All right, so now it's time for the carpaccio, which I am pumped about. like a little more stuff, though. Not, not much more. Yeah, there we go, boom. All right. Also, my, my spoon's covered in onions. Get in there, onions. Get in there and be somebody. All right. All right. We're going to let it bring up to, like, to a slow boil, then bring it down to a simmer, and then it's just going to cook. Right? I'm going to do Resdar. It's, it's, it's the simplest recipe ever, and it's just like a bunch of really awesome things in a, like, in a big pot. <laughs> she won't let you do it. Hey, do it in secret. Do it in secret. I seriously hope you're not lighting things on fire in secret around here. I light things on fire in secret all the time. Still a little, still taste that stuff. That's uh, pretty tasty. Dude, that's so freaking good.
Okay. All right. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Are you going to bring the slicer closer? No. Should I? Yeah, it's kind of I mean, it's a little pain in the ass a little closer, though, you know? Alright. Uh, you can see it. Yeah. I think I'll be okay. It'll be alright. Okay. Alright, okay, alright, okay. Move my... Also, guys, I had to buy these three bottles of liquor for this one pot of soup, so... Maybe not the most, like, like economical <laughs> recipe. What happened? <laughs> he, he laughs like a lunatic. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Die, idiots! I'm like, you're crazy. Like, yeah, well, they're dead, though, so whatever. <laughs> what ifs? Alright, we gotta fry some paper. Santa, relax, okay? Who's the president is that? He had it last year too, the entire year, never given anybody to psycho. I don't really trust Santa, honestly. <laughs> also, I'm gonna go and pour the rest of this in here. It's fine. It's, just, it's, it's fine. Can't waste that flavor. Also, guys, I mean, like, I don't have, like, actual beef stock. That was, you know, from a better than bullion. What the hell is that? So, it's, uh,. It's not like actual beef stock, but it's still pretty good. Like, don't use some like total shitty, like beef broth cube, you know. At least use like better than bouillon, you know. At least. Oh baby, this looks so damn good. Oh. Let's do a little taste real fast. Yeah, that is delicious. A little bit of fresh pepper. I think it's a, eh, man, like a little more salt. Uh, I mean, like actually, the restaurant, like, like, like that stuff's like just fine too. It's like, like, uh, like, like, like little, like, little, uh, the, like the little, um, like the little foil, foil, foil wrap cubes. That stuff is garbage. Like that is the worst. Like don't use that stuff. Use at least like the carton of stuff, or like the better than bouillon. Better than bouillon is actually really nice. I really like it. Tastes like it, it's the closest to like actually like being like good stuff. Like. In my opinion, so. Yeah, that's that's fucking good stuff. Okay, all right, let's do carpaccio. Okay, let's do the carpaccios. Also, once again, cheers to you guys. We're like halfway there now. We've done the mustard pickles; those look amazing. We're gonna try those with our like with our, with our soup. Uh, we have the onion soup going. Like well on its way, and now time for the carpaccio. Should we, should we fry the capers first? Probably. Yeah. All right, fry the capers. Got our oil going on there. Get this to a nice like tree tree fitty. It's buddy. Thank you. Raise them glasses and bottles in the air. Appreciate that. Oh wait, I forgot to add this. This is this goes into the soup also, and also some bay leaves. Boom. I'm out of bay leaves now. I'm sad. I love bay leaves. They're, they're the best. So that's gonna simmer in there with it. Add a nice. Oh, that's just uh, like a bunch of parsley and some bay leaves. Uh, thyme would also be nice, but they didn't have thyme, so. The Spody cooking stream? I don't know. Spody, you want to do a uh, cooking stream? Oh, maybe. It would have to be baked. Uh, Rezar, uh, it was uh, parsley. We are thinking about, so one of our friends, Caitlin, you guys may remember her. We did the burger. She made like the, um, the pesto uh, on burger night. She has challenged me to a meatloaf contest, so. We may do a meatloaf contest with her, so if you guys are interested in that. That could be next weekend, I'm not quite sure. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. It's fine, it's fine, that's right, it's fine. It's fine. Okay. Alright, so fried capers. Got our capers here. We bought a giant jar from Costco, so if you guys need like a million capers, this is good Costco. 
Yeah, Kaylin's yeah, she's super sweet. Yeah, she's awesome. Um, so so she has she's like violently challenging me to a meatloaf contest. She thinks her meatloaf is the best, which I mean could be. I don't, actually I'm not a very good. I mean I don't know how, how good my meatloaf is. I may have like, actually never like made one, so we will see. <laughs> Right? You want some cabers or now? Alright, so fry these bad boys and drain them off in flour. No big deal. Pretty simple. And also, Resnar, you're doing a great job at that, so keep it up. Alright, so put a bunch of these in the flour. Also, guys, capers are possibly one of the greatest things ever invented. By man. You know who loves Wanksack. <laughs> Is Wanksack here? No. No, sad. Sad. Wanksack does love the capers. That man is a caper lover. Although, he didn't know what they were until we like, um, like gave them to him, right? Right? What? Like, he didn't know like what they were until like we. Oh yeah, when he came over here and shot the intro video. Alright, so toss these down flour. Easy breezy. And brazen. Can you work some other Elsa? Why is it being so weird? Alright, get to a boil there, pot of soup. Pot of soup. Alright, let's test our temperature on our oil here. Guys, I am so pumped about making this sliced carpaccio though. I am pumped. Wait, uh, wait, uh, what's up? Ah, Pirate D, how hilarious. <laughs> that was like just gonna get out like, as you said that. Actually, Actually uh, Rest are you are a nice addition, Mouse. Our friend Lola really wants to come. She, oh, she does too? Okay. I told her she can come next week. Alright, nice. Should we do, should, like, should, should she be the, the judge of the meatloaf? Ooh, that's a good idea. Right? Like, she won't but know who's the series. I want to be the judge too. Sh she'll, I mean, but I feel like you'll know my flavors though. You know my flavors. <laughs> I don't like that. Like, you know my flavors. <laughs> Why is, it, why, is it, why is it being so weird, Will? Alright, we're at two... Seventy-five. Why is it all being so weird, though? It's popping in a weird way that I don't like, nor do I trust. <laughs> Resnar, first of all, I will never be a famous streamer, so I don't worry about that. And second of all, I'll never, I'll never forget you, Baus. You're, really, you're like one of the OGs. Also, like, are there like, are, are there like, quote unquote, famous like cooking streams on Twitch? I don't think that's even like a thing yet. It's it's hard to like like the, like the the like the Twitch audience is not even like old enough probably like to be like oh like oh like someone cooking I gotta watch this guy you know we're getting there boys we're getting there don't worry. 
Yeah, the, yeah, Babish is super fast. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I know, dude. That's dude, that's such oh, that's so much work, though, man. Oh my god, five to seven days a week streaming cooking—that's crazy. Yeah, that's that's so much work, dude. That's crazy. I mean, that's like like you have to do that. Uh, wait, oh chef, oh, John Reed, I don't know, uh, I don't know who that is. Yeah, like I mean, that's every that's every streamer, and no matter what you're doing. If you want to be like a big streamer, you have to do it every freaking day. You have to. It's crazy. But I mean, I'm not doing this to be famous, though. I'm just doing it because I think it's fun. I like that. I, I like stream stuff. It's fun hanging out with guys, you know? Alright, I think our oil is good with No. No. What happened? Resident said all you need is one clip to go viral. Quick set something on fire. We already, we already tried that, Red Star. No. We tried that. Didn't, didn't work out yet, so I don't know. <laughs> Although, uh, that guy uh, last week was like, oh, I bet you'll double your viewers if you set your kitchen on fire. And I was like, oh, yeah, great trade off, bro. Great trade off there. I think this is good to go. That's so close, dude. It's so close. All right, boom. We're we're boiling now to now to simmer. Now time to simmer. Yeah, no, Rezar, that's that's probably accurate too, man. Like, I mean, like you know, like, if you have like good content, and folks like it, like there'll be a time where, like like if I do this full time, it may like you know like because you can't just like go full time immediately and you know like just do it. Like you gotta have like a slow build up. I agree with that. I do agree with that. Oh, I think it's British Crown again. My eyes are getting so irritated. Why? I don't know. There's no way it's, 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 it's the onions. There's no way. Guys, I'm sorry. Sputter's crying again. I'm not crying. My eyes are watering. If you see, like, the camera change is not being so sharp anymore, like, it's got to be crying to be in here. <laughs> Santa, bring Spody some tissues. That would be so creepy if when I switched screens, he wasn't there anymore. <laughs> All right, we are donezo on the oil. I'm gonna put the capers in there. Oh, capers. I also gotta pull out the uh, parts of this. It lost its uh, thing. Two seconds, so like, shouldn't take long. Did Maddie know this was on YouTube? No, Maddie was just like, uh, he was like, was like a chef, and then um, Bon Appetit made a sh like a show with him, like like an internet show that took off. Who's Choco Taco? Choco Taco? He's a uh, he's, uh, pub 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 G guy. They are delicious. Oh, he's not a, he's a video game player, not a food streamer. Oh. Roll the goose in there, Chaco Chaco. His name makes him feel like he should be Yeah, he's, uh, he, uh, he got big on, I think, PUBG. I think that was his, that was his game.
Alright, pull out the parts because it's getting too separate. I'm scared I'm gonna lose it all forever. I think most of the flavors are in there too, so I'm not too worried about it. Yeah. Also, where are the bay leaves there? There's a bay leaf. Come here, Parsley. Come here to me. Like you're fishing. Yeah. Got you. Haha, <laughs> idiot. Haha, <laughs> I got you too. Alright, let's go. Alright, uh, frog caters ain't looking. This is smelling amazing. Alright, I think it's time to start slicing up some beef. Dude, bacon, eggs, and biscuits? Sounds amazing. Are you kidding me? That's not yeah, that's not lean at all. That's that's delish. That is deliciousness. Oh yeah, I love breakfast Yeah, like like yeah, like, like with biscuits also? Come on now, dude. Come on, Reznar. Won't you dare be like, oh guys, sorry I'm having biscuits and bacon and eggs for dinner. <laughs> it's like a humble brag almost. Wait, that's just more parsley? Yep. Come here to me. Don't you, don't you dare. Don't you dare. Come here to me. I see you. Ha ha! Got you. Alright. Yes. It feels like literally like an entire half. Salad there. It's good to go. Good to go. They these are also good to go. You're doing a lot of fishing things out of things. I know, right? This stream is brought to you by Bass Pro Shops. What? This stream is brought to you by Bass Pro Shop. Oh. <laughs> Reznor is trying to cook beans on a griddle. What? <laughs> wait, wait, what? <laughs> Reznor, don't do that. <laughs> oh my god, dude, this is looking so sick. <laughs> I keep rolling off. Stop! Stop doing that. That's obvious. Like that's the sign. That's funny as hell. That's like that's really funny. <laughs> like visually, him like you like trying to like like why is they so rolling? That's funny. That is funny. All right, Spody, hit me with one more little splash of that. Then 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 like they're done. You're my bartender now. You're my you're my barkeep. Please, milady, love you. All right, our first dish. Well, I now I say our second dish. Thank you, my no, dear. Guys, cheers again to you. Side of bourbon. Love you guys. Love hanging out. Love making good food with you. Um. Yeah, we're now affiliates. So like next next time, sub button's gonna be in full effect. Uh, yeah, hope you guys like what you're watching. Hope you guys, uh, if you're lurking out there, hit that follow button. You know, smash that follow button. Smash it. But yeah, awesome, guys. 
Hope you're having fun. Cheers. Okay. Time for Slicer Town. So, okay, so Carpaccio. If you guys don't know what it is, it is literally, if, uh, like beef tartare, same kind of thing. It's just raw beef. It's just really nice. Like don't use like some garlic, don't, don't get like, like ground beef, like from Walmart and eat that. That's not, that's, that's not good. Get some nice, like this, like, this, like, this is a nice filet mignon. Um, but it's frozen, so it froze it, so it slices easier. Um, and that's pretty much, like, it's pretty much just raw beef. Uh, it's delicious, though, so I recommend trying it. See it on the menu. Uh, I, I, Tommy, I know it was, it was in the pot too long. I forgot it was sitting in there. I'm so sorry. <laughs> After I just said, don't leave your spoon in your pot. <laughs> and I, then I did it. <laughs> I, I am the worst. I'm the worst. I get it. I get it. Alright. Capers. Salt them bad boys up. Also, dude. Spody, you ever had a uh, fried caper? Yeah, try that. Dude, guys, fried capers are... Uh -oh. Oh, wow. Some little crunchy, pickly goodness. Yeah. Amazing. Oh, amazing. Also, yeah, guys, a liter spoon in your pot, it adds like a nice uh, earthy flavor to it. A little bit of pine, you know, hoppy taste. Ah, oh, Cervelle, yeah, oh, Cervelle, I, I saw your post about, um, uh, your uh, Twitter post about uh, end of uh, No Shame November. I would do that, but I can't, like this, this right here is a week's worth of growth for me. One entire week, no, no shame. This is all I can do. So, it's embarrassing. I think, did I like that post? I don't know, I think I saw it on my phone. I don't I really sure. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. I liked it, so I just support our friends. <laughs> what is that, like I don't? What does that mean, I don't? Rude. <laughs> Rude. Rude. Okay, all right, let's slice, let's slice. Some fillets. Okay. Well, that's awesome. What happened? They raised 2500 for craft steak cancer. Oh, nice, dude. Super nice. Alright, here we go. Slice. Oh, wait. No, 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 This was our test run, which looks perfect. Like that's what that's the that's carpaccio right there. So I mean, I'm thinking like should I add to this or do it from the beginning? I'll do, I'll, 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 I'll make it. I'll, I'll, I'll make it new. I'll, I'll make it new, guys. Nice. Oh god, don't fall off, please. Okay. All right, we're good. It's fine. Okay, let's do yes. Let's just do it from the, from the beginning. From the beginning. Right? Show us your me. Okay, all right, okay, yeah. No, Pirate Dave, I've already practiced. I think we got this going on. You literally told us last week how you cut yourself on one of those before. Yeah, but like years ago when I was an idiot. I'm not an idiot. I'm now a very smart man. Also, I was on drugs that night, so I don't know if that's. Should I not, should I not tell that story? Okay. Yeah. Also, guys, drugs are bad. So don't do drugs, especially when you're in a kitchen, you watch yourself. Okay? <laughs> uh, okay, slice it up, I'm gonna play it out. Like, don't do drugs, like alcohol is fine. But any other drug, it's bad. Don't do that, it's bad for you. Okay, cheers, bourbon. Alcohol is a drug. What? Uh, 
John the Butcher. Oh, oh, hey guys, I hasted back. Uh, let's give him some uh, love and chat. Oh, is it atmosphere? That was a dance. I it's for you. I I I, I could feel you that you were back. So yeah, did a little dance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Resnar, tobacco. No, bad. No, don't do that. It's so bad for you. I wish it wasn't though, because the backup is amazing. But I wish it was like not bad for you. But it is. So anyway, let's slice some meat. Make a nice little. Is that too thick? Is that too thick? That was thicker than last time. I know, right? of the meats. One more slice or it's probably good. Oh yeah, that thing works like a charm. Boom. Nice dude. So nice. So nice. That's right there is a big plate of beef capaccio. Which is just literally thinly sliced raw beef. That's all it is. Dude, uh, I haste. Like seriously, am I? Because I, really, I, I really want to. Like, let's go. I will hunt with you, and I'll cook that food on stream. Anything we kill. That's like that's my dream. That's my like next like bucket list. Check mark. Yeah, guys. So, uh, so, so, I haze is a uh, former uh, co co collegiate baseball player. Uh, a hunter, um, a gatherer, probably too. But yeah, uh, he has some land near us. Like I would be so down with that, dude. <laughs> well, so we are going to. Uh, uh, oh yeah, dude. Yeah, Red Star also invited. Yeah, I'm inviting you to uh, I Hayes's uh, property. Yeah, totally. Um. We're, we are going to put a little bit of, uh, like, acid on there, so it's not totally not cooked, but... Yeah, totally. Yep. Also, this soup is looking nice. Okay, so... Let's make a little salad here. So, I made a little truffle oil, olive oil mix here, which is what we're going to put on our arugula here. Cause like, I feel like carpaccio needs like a nice like fibrous like roughage to it, you know? So we're gonna do a bit of that. Coat that and that, coat this and that, coat that and those. Little, little bit of lemon juice. And that also. 
We're going to drill. Uh, let's get our this out of the way. Do this other way as well. Also, this soup is looking sick. Oh my god, guys. This is looking so damn good. The bottom needs a little bit of scraping because of the, the flour, so I'm trying to keep a close eye on it so it doesn't burn. So, anyway, anyway. Alright, so, lemon juice, a little bit of oil, a little bit of salt. What is this? Yeah. A little bit of salt in there. Let's toss it around with our towns. Okay, looking good. Little taste test. That's delicious. <laughs> Wait, for real? Delicious? Okay. All right, so we'll get our aioli out of the fridge. delicious plate of food that you're gonna enjoy and I'm gonna enjoy for sure because it's amazing <laughs> yeah, that's right that's 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 good stuff I really came together quick yeah well I mean it's you know really good really good all right so also we do we're doing some soup next right dude it's it is to carpaccio I mean, if you have like a nice cut of beef, like like eating, it's it, it's you're eating it totally raw. Like you're eating, you're tasting. It's everything's like like raw. So yeah, it's nuts. All right, so let's do our soup now too, right? All right. So you, typically, typically, French onion soup has Emmental cheese or Gruyere or any kind of like Swiss bridal. I like Gouda on oh my first time to say Call me crazy. Call me crazy. But I do. I do. Six foot, wait, 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 250. You're covering tabs? That's crazy. <laughs> Alright, let's do it. Ah, dude, Resnar, dude, come to freaking Nashville, dude. You'll fit right in, bro. Like, we don't give a shit about tats and all that stuff, man. Like, you'll be more more popular in Nashville, like, covering tabs, promise, promise you that. Hey, what's up? The real Peter Popoff, what's up, dude? How's it going, man? Alright, so, let's grate this Gouda. I like, I like the Gouda. Santa, relax. Guys, Santa, guys, I'm sorry, Santa is, it gets, it gets kind of, it's a little uppity, honestly. It's a little uppity. Yeah, this looks uh, pretty damn good here, so I'm gonna call this also done. Um, I I do know how to butcher a deer. Um, I would need I would need some help though. I mean, like I like I know like like theoretically I know how to butcher a deer. Um, I don't really. I mean, I would probably like fuck it up though if I really had like to really try it. Hey, Spody. Okay, one more little, one more little bit. One more, one more little one. Tiny. Like, like the tiniest. Yeah, guys, look at this though. Also, but should I eat like one bite of this? Yeah, probably. Probably. I have butchered. Um... Oh yeah, yeah, filet. Yeah, yep. Yeah, yeah, uh, I am uh, the real. Uh, I'm gonna call you a uh, Peter from now on. Peter, I am using filet for sure. Um, I could. I, I butchered rabbits. I butchered. Um, 
I butchered squirrels. <laughs> um, I butchered chickens. I've never butchered a large mammal, though. Like, a large... Like, a deer or, like, a moose. But, I get the general idea, you know, skin off, drain the blood, belly, don't puncture the guts, dump that stuff out, pull the butthole out. That's a thing, right? So... Ew. <laughs> that's, like, like, literally a thing you have to do, like, to pull the butthole out. That's disgusting. <laughs> Who wants a butthole in the meat, though? No one. I don't even want to ever think about that. Yeah. But, I mean, like, but, like, but, but... I haze. I want to learn that. I want to learn. Okay, before we do our soup. Okay. While that's getting warm, let's taste a little of this carpaccio. Wait, what did uh, what did uh, what did Tommy say? Amanda's gonna come crash dinner. <laughs> He's like, she's on the way. All right, bring, bring it on. All right, everybody, here's how you eat this carpaccio, all right? You get a nice scoop of your meat. Like, look, it, 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 it tears like butter almost, right? So get this scoop of all this delicious stuff. Come here, stuff. Smear it on your crostini. All right? And then... Not bad. Holy hell. Oh my god. Good. Let's drop. Extra cup of oh, extra caper on there. Oh my god. Yeah, Chevelle, right? <laughs> I mean, it's a thing. <laughs> oh wait, so uh, so Peter, wait, hang on. Um, wait, you're also putting pickled ramps. Wait, uh, wait, okay. Um, you made this dish with okay. Uh, so what is it you're actually putting? I should totally know that. I'm doing like one more of these guys too. I'm doing one more of these guys. Get on there. Get on that. A little bit of this. Yeah, this is uh, truffle oil uh, is on the arugula salad. It's, a, it's a arugula salad and li, uh, like uh, and lemon juice, but uh, like a little like kind of like a, a vinaigrette. Mm. Do it. Come on. Okay. Well, are you, are you gonna try that? Oh yeah. It's so damn good, man. I mean, like, truffle oil is very tricky, though. Like, it, it can, like, overpower everything. So, like, you gotta go easy on it. But. So, I usually, like, so, like, this, this is truffle oil. Like, to about here, and then mostly olive oil. Because, like, it'll flavor, like, other oils. So, I, so, like, be careful. Like, be careful with this. Okay. Let's do soup. Oh, my God. Yeah, so this, like this is mine. Very, very small bottle. Okay. All right, okay, all right, okay, all right. Okay. Let's do some cheese grating real fast. We need like a nice pile of cheese. But yeah, I mean, I, I like the Gouda. I mean, I know like, 
Traditionally, it's like Gruyere or Emmental cheese, but like I like the Gouda, man. Because it has that like kind of like creamy, like it's, it's like more creamy than like Emmental is, and I I think it has like a nice difference to it. I'm not sure why, but I just believe that in my heart of hearts. Just go for uh, uh, that for seconds. No, it's, it's, it's pretty tasty, right? Yeah, because I mean, like, it's, like, 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 carpaccio sounds weird, you know, like it is raw beef, but oh my god, really, Reznor, aged in bourbon gouda? God, I wish I had that. That'd be perfect for this. Like, it would, it, it'd be, it'd be so fitting. Who's that? Oh, caper. Got a loose caper. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Here we go. Time for soup. Oh my god. The gouda, so fucking good. So freaking good. I mean, sorry. Language. Also, what is burning in this? Okay. Get us a bowl. Get us a spoon. These guys. Yes. Okay. Thanks for the follow, Hugh Freeze. Hey, thanks for the follow, Hugh. Okay. Do a literal ton of cheese on that. Okay. Pop in the broiler. And let it go. It's good. Burn and get bubbly and be delicious, and I'm excited about it. Guys, seriously, frit, frit, frit in the soup is so great. It's one of the things that, like, it's it's so simple. It's like all the flavors you love together. I love it. Oh yeah, no bot. Yes, yeah, guys. Sorry, well, we're getting our like we just got an affiliate, so like next next uh. Yeah, next weekend will be will be pros. Okay, promise you that. Oh, Tommy with the follow too. What? TV Nolan with the follow. What's up, Bows? Wait, magic? Yeah, magic card. But yeah, for sure. It's like it's so good uh, or something like that. <laughs> Oh yeah, no, totally. Yeah, well, I mean, I mean, we can, like, we can do that. Like, we're gonna, like, like uh, next weekend we have a bot in here and everything. It'll be sick. It'll be sick. Oh, yeah. All right, just seeing it's in there. We're gonna do the soup. Cause like, gotta have a good rosini and like a good cheese going on, you know? You got, you, you got to. Uh, bay leaf out of here. Get in this bowl with your dumb, uh, parsley friends. Okay. 
<laughs> yeah, dude, like, Wang's actually be here, man. Like, he was, uh, we were talking about, uh, I, actually, I've edited my first video from the cooking stream that I want to, uh, hey, what's up, dude? So, I want to, uh, wait, at Building Buddy, like, wait, who? Do, like, do I, do I know you IRL? So freaking good, dude. This is I I I like this like this entire pot of soup. Yeah, oh yeah, Rezzo, I am too, man. Like he like he he's like I thought he would show up. And, and Woodsman, well Woodsman, I don't know, he's got a new baby and stuff, like he's real hit or mess, you know. Oh, what's up, Jake? I I thought I thought it was you. What's up, man? How's it going, dude? All right, Reznar, hurry back, man. Dude, this put in the soup. It's so damn good. So damn good. Okay. Yeah, Jake. What's up, man? Like, nice to uh, see you. Uh, nice to go. Okay, this is yes. Yeah, this, 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 we are done to on the old French onion. Give me a napkin. Where them napkins at, Spody? In the pan, in the pan. What? Oh. Okay. Oh, yep. Okay. All right. Let me know how this looks also. That's the French onion soup. <laughs> right? It looks uh, pretty great. Oh, yeah. Alright, get some photos of this because I want to eat this immediately. <laughs> so hurry up. <laughs> Dude, Peter, vegan cheese, I have no idea, man. I am so sorry. Oh, Britain? Oh, nice, dude. Yeah, dude, what's up, Hugh? Yeah, we like, hang out, like, make some food and stuff together. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah Peter, dude, I don't get yeah, vegan cheese, but I, I mean, I'm guessing, like, cashew cheese is, a, is my go-to about like, vegan cheese. I, I am not. I am not a vegan vegetarian expert by any means, man. I am a carnivore to the bone, so I am. I have no idea. Um, like tonight, like literally, like tonight's like food options. Like this is raw beef, like the furthest from being vegan <laughs> I've ever probably made in my life. Yeah, that's yeah. I'm saying the same thing, Rezar. I'm, I'm not sure. I could be. I mean, you could like, like also like this is beef stock. Like this soup is all beef stock. Um. I mean, okay, now, our, our, our first dish, though, our first dish, this is probably vegan. We made mustard pickles. This is definitely vegan. This is just cauliflower, cucumbers, onions, and, like, vinegar. Oh, right, that's totally it. Should we d uh, dive into the uh, soup here? Oh. <laughs> All right, here we go, guys. <laughs> Tommy. <laughs> it's like, here's how you... Uh, also, guys, Tommy is a professional chef, like, like for real, for real. For real, for real. Okay, here we go. Dude, that is freaking hot as the sun. But that is delicious. Oh, 
Yeah, uh, yeah, that's true, Red Star. You, like, you could make this with, like, yeah, like, like, like veggie stock for sure. That is, that, yeah, that's true. But yeah, I mean, it, it's, it's tough to, like, make it the same. Mm. So, I mean, like, vegan, like, vegan makes it hard. Like, vegetarian, like, you know, like, you can, like, eat, like, normal cheese, but vegan makes it tough. I mean, like, no vegan cheese, like, melts like you want it to. It doesn't, like, yeah, it's just, it's just, I mean, I'd be like, you know what, just, like, leave, like, the cheese off. It might go to. Also, here's an Inspiral Fest. Oh, God. That is freaking delicious, though. My Gouda here got a little bit too, like, it's not as stringy as I want it to be, but. Dude, it's so good. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, vegan cheese, yeah, I just skip it. Agreed. Yeah, vegan cheese, like, like, like it doesn't melt, you know? Oh, my God. Hot hello. Hi! Woo! So dudes, like, what do you guys think, man? We made pickles, we made carpaccio, we made fridge onion soup. All tonight. And it's all delicious. I think. <laughs> but yeah, so we're gonna call it quits there. But we want to host someone. So like we're gonna pass you guys off to another cooking stream. Uh that's live right now. Do we have one uh tuned up? Do we? <laughs> do we like do we not? I mean, Sushi Day's live. But. Is she? Then we should definitely, that's definitely who we should go to. Yeah. So guys, Sushi Day, uh, it's a California couple. They make great food. They're hilarious. Uh, she's a great cook. The husband is like the producer. He's hilarious. They're great people. I love watching them. You guys should go check them out. They're super interactive. They're super fun. Their quality is next level. Their mic sounds great. Their cameras look great. Um, they're so awesome. Um, so we're gonna pass you guys off to them. Thank you guys so much for having us tonight. We love you guys. Hopefully you liked watching us. That's the goal, you know, so, um, <laughs> Jeff, uh, Jeff, I'm like, I mean, I have no idea how to do that. Okay. So, <laughs> all right. So, okay. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it from right here. It's just sushi day, right? Yeah, they did parody. Yeah, parody. Can you help us on this? Um, Hang on, let me let me let me let me post their link first. It's just sushi day, right? Yeah. One more. What is she making? Oh See? my gosh, she makes something awesome. She's she's so great. She's so great. All right, so here's their channel. Uh, we're gonna host them right now. You're logged in as Two Ten Jack. Oh great. Let me log out real fast and go into, wait, uh, is, is this computer on a side of everyone? Ours on Spody, on Spody. One second, guys. Oh, I'm Spody. Let me log in as this channel. What the hell just happened? Superpowers. What do you mean, Powers? Oh, he doesn't have the, like, like, he doesn't have the powers here, I don't think, is what he's saying. Oh, great. I think he's a mod. Two-factor authentication. Look how creepy Santa looks. Santa, relax. Alright, so I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please stick around. Please go see them for like a second. Okay. Alright, we're good. Okay, here we go. Alright. We're gonna host them right now. Go check them out. Love you guys. See you guys next weekend. And until then, have a great life. Be nice to each other. Love you guys. Oh, wait. It says, uh, yeah, raid. Right.